Hello everyone, I'm Hugo. You have a s one mustache hair that's longer than all the Is others. Is it going down or up? up. Or, or up? It's yeah. going up? It's, go it's higher than the other ones. It's on a different plane, oh, horizontally. I have a rogue hair. That's fine. I hope they notice. Do you notice? It's I actually need to shave it. It's a little bit longer than usual, huh? Anyway, today we're going to be doing a chick track. It's been a while since we've done one of these. Oddly, normally what happens, <laughs> a little bit of like behind the scenes, I guess, how this typically works is usually... What a terrible act, like, del behind the scenes, like, ooh, how it's made. Uh, basically, how we do this is we go, you want to do a chick track? Okay. Yeah, and, and then I all here, and then, and and then, then Hugo I, usually finds one. And I'll skim through it and decide, like, okay, does this have a crazy enough plot yeah. line or whatever? And then I give you shit for picking the one that's just on the front page, and this time it was me! <laughs> so, and guess which one I picked? The one on the front page. Yeah, but this was... Uh, I haven't seen any of this. So, and I have, but, uh, so this was sent to me by a fan, and you, which is usually, I click on them, we've either already done it and you just missed it, or... This one's pretty funny. Uh, thank you, whoever sent. I forgot who you are, but thank you. Um, this is called "Tell Me About It," and uh, she's looking. She's looking over, over a uh, a brick wall. See, I was gonna say. I, I would like you to just just guess. Uh, how old do you think that person is? Uh, I mean, if I had to guess based on nothing, I'd say either six years old or forty-seven. I can't tell. She's, yeah, that's a good. That's a good estimate. I, I'm. It makes me think young though, because it reminds me of the wall from Peanuts that they, you know, hang out on that wall or do a little like things. That I they don't remember. Like, I am not fifty-five years old. I assume that Charles Schultz just didn't want to draw the rest of their bodies. That's why he was lazy and put a wall there. I don't know. Or maybe he's Leidfeld and he can't do feet. So, <laughs> shout out Rob Liefeld. Uh, anyway, uh, so let's begin. Don't you hate when people tell you tell stories about you? Oh, I know. Carrie texted me the juiciest rumor in math class. Oh no! You but... know the math class we're both a part of, Janice. Never mind. They're not forty-seven. They're like eighteen. It literally looks like they both have progeria. <laughs> I don't. What's st statistically speaking? How many people have progeria? Here's the statistic. That it, I I'm assuming this number isn't two out of two people. Maybe it's a school for kids with progeria. It's like <laughs> when Derek ever, Zoolander built it. Have you ever seen <laughs> uh, Strangers with Candy the series? Maybe it's like that, but they're all old. Oh. Anyway. Really? About whom? Who talks like that? Who says whom out loud? About whom? I'm so I'm hungry. Mine did that earlier, but I, that was very loud. Yeah. I'm if you're into Vore, bonus. Come on, tell me. You can trust me. It won't leave here. I promise. Uh, we were just saying about how people hate when they tell stories, but let's do just that. All right, but first I have to ask you a question, Janice. Okay. Presumably we're in the same physical area yeah. talking to one another face to face. Sure. Is the climate three feet in front of me very different than my climate? It seems to me you are in 45 degree weather, and I'm in 65. It's a style choice. Also, I, Is have, it? I have a hyperhidrosis, so... So you sweat too much. Yeah, so I... Just, I don't see how this is helping. This is doing the opposite. I sweat much more, but you can't see it under my coat. I marinate in it all day like Batman. That's like a salt brine. Yeah. You're like a salt brine pork haunch. Oh yeah. If aliens came and wanted to eat us like in To Serve Man from the Twilight Zone. They take thin slices of you like a like an expensive capicola. Yeah. Alright, it's about you! Why does this one panel look like the rough rough draft? It looks sketchy, like Wait. like if they did a sketch on paper. You know Wait. what I mean? I just thought of a good I, I thought of a good edit. Are you guys ready for 2008 memes? Here it comes. Are you proud of me? I'm ashamed. Are you proud of me? Super Superman. Gulp. 
What did she say? Well, she said she saw you in this giant whale coat. She said you sort of look like a baleen whale, but it wasn't a fat joke. It looked like the coat was made of the hide, the blubber of a baleen whale. They're the ones that filter feed. Okay, just they to, have baleen. Just to be clear. Okay. Are those teeth? Why do they have hair teeth? Just to be clear. The stuffing is ambergris, but that is the only <laughs> whale product. <laughs> well, also she said she saw you with another guy. Another one. You're... Wait. Is the implication you're dating this lady, or is the implication that you are... Um... I think it's You have a, a wide set vagina. I think it's the second one. Oh. And? Also, don't... I, I don't want you to discuss my profile. I know it's extremely striking. I think, a, should we move? I think a cloud of mustard gas I is rolling in. I actually don't know. Is there a riot nearby? <laughs> is Antifa going to going to start attacking totally innocent journalists? Surprise, we're in Hong Kong. Is that a, it's a Hong Kong. Oh, it's smog? No, because uh, oh. in Hong Kong they're doing uh, protests right now because there's a whole thing. This gets into the, oh boy, uh this gets into the history of colonialism and imperialism in China, and then the the Britons gave it back to China, but Hong Kong became sort of its own independent mm. pseudo uh, mm. city state with its own mm. economic policies. Anyway, now cops are beating up protesters. So, mm. blue lives matter. <laughs> And and uh, take this handkerchief and cover your face from the tear gas. But an older man, uh, a man you met in the diner at the edge of town, which is also quiet and secluded. Apparently, this is not a very popular diner. If it is a quiet, secluded edge of town diner, no one goes there except for um, uh, Carrie. Carrie, after math class, she works there. What are you saying? Uh, there was a hotel! Laura, you've got it all wrong! I just, I'm pretty sure, did you fuck an old guy in a hotel? Oh, that, yes. Sorry, I thought that was oh. implicit. I thought we were talking about something else. What? I will never- Wait, hold on, what did you think we were talking about? I would never eat at a diner! I'm Waffle House all the way! That's kind of a diner, it's just a chain! It's a chain! It's a diner. It's like Denny's. Diner? I don't go into Denny's. Why not? What? Why? The Denny's near us has a security guard. It's not oh, safe. Oh, that's just, that just got real. No, that is, that's actually true. Yeah. You One go time to I drove past it, we were like, oh, let's go to Denny's. Uh, and we started driving to it, and the cops were there, and their lights were on. So we drove 100 feet forward and went to the IHOP. What is it with... Okay, there's, I, there's I a know, Denny's yes. and an IHOP, and they're literally... They're, yeah. they're this isn't a bit. This is literally just our reality. But the Denny's is trashy and has a security guard, and the IHOP is pleasant and has delicious pancakes. Is it a brand thing? I think it's is a brand it... thing. If there was a Waffle House next, like in between those, yeah. the Denny's would be just fine. <laughs> it it uh it, it's it's whatever your lowest elevation is is where all the all the goop settles. Okay, I yeah. gotcha. I gotcha. Okay. Admit it, Judy! You like big old man dong! Who doesn't? Mm, well, I'm gay. So, me. Oh. That was very rude to assume. What do you think this nose is for? Was that a what? Look at my nose. I see it. It's a clit tickler. I can do the ass and, and the, the V at the same time. I'm a next level gay. Get on, get on my level. <laughs> check her tweets. This is a very modern chick track. Wow. Check her, check her Twitter dot com forward slash diner carry x x o o. That's her handle at that whatever I just said. What? It's all over social media that you fuck old guys. They thought you were friends, or I thought we were friends. But you're holding out on me. I I really want to know who this old guy is and if he is like what's he? We're friends. We talk. We're ladies. We talk about this kind of stuff. Is he? Does his 
I don't know. What's it look like? Does it have a knuckle? Does it vibrate at the tip? Is he shaving? Uh, Before we talk about this, can I... Is he a good kisser? I don't know. Does he give head? I don't... Can I recommend to you bangs? Because... Bangs? You got... You got a lot of forehead going the, on. Well, the hairline actually... I think it's it passes forehead and we're to mid-head. Okay. I think that, that just... The hairline starts right on top like a samurai. <laughs> I can't tell you! But it's not what you think. Oh, 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 well, this was my big chance to go viral. I I don't understand the internet very much. <laughs> so I thought, if you told me about S-E-X, then uh, maybe people on the internet who have never heard of such things and are surely not just inoculated um, would like to know about how you had missionary, polite, old man coitus in a hotel, because that's the most salacious thing the internet's seen today. I have a video. Really? Yeah. No. Oh. Look up Grandpa Fucker on Pornhub. I feel like that's a vast... I will get more than your video on Grandpa Fucker. No, I'm number one in Grandpa Fucking, let me tell you. My views? Or upvotes. Is that how it works? Popularity? Do, do people vote on porn videos? I think they have a vote button, don't they? Who? I don't have an account. You know... Wait, wait, wait! I gotta know! Who's that type of person that has an account, but doesn't pay? And doesn't produce porn. I don't know. I know there's comments, though. Yeah. Yeah, there are. Who are you people? Oh yeah, I like those titties. We know you- that's why you're here. No one needs to know that you like the titties. <laughs> oh, if that was me, I remember- No, you wouldn't. Have you seen the It'd one... be 30 seconds. Have you seen the one where the dude's like, pitiful? Those tiny driblets that come. <laughs> I did, you showed me that. It's like a Reddit thing? <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Carrie almost beat me to it. Wait! Hashtag two dash timing dash Judy, you did that? Ah shit, I fucked up. The hashtag doesn't let you hyphenate or put spaces. I must be actually elderly and not at all understand how Twitter works. Guys, D David W. Daniels, the, the, the guy who's in charge of Chick Tracks, let me help you, okay? You need someone that was was born after electricity became a thing to let you know how this kind of stuff works. If you want to incorporate social media into your chick tracks, that's absolutely fine. I am here for it. It's cringy. It's perfect content. But god damn it, you need to get this stuff kind of you need to get this right. It should be, it should be hashtag two timing Judy. No hyphens, no spaces, nothing else. Or it's not gonna highlight, it should be hashtag two. Who's doing hashtag two? But then old people who read chick tracks, who are the main people who read chick tracks. The main people who read chick tracks are the people who buy chick tracks to put them in bathrooms. We might buy the most chick tracks. I'm not that's not even a joke. Other than churches, we're almost certainly up there, right? We ha we have to, we were probably the the largest private buyer of chick tracks. Yes. <laughs> There's a lot of people that tell me stories of their apostasy and their being ex Christians or whatever. The other day I heard a story, and it was like a Baptist or something. Yeah. Like really really like not like hardcore, not like picketing gay funerals and shit, but like very religious. Uh, the chick tracks were something that they had um, that the rest of the church made fun of. Okay. Because they were too extreme. Interesting. Yeah. So that's where chick tracks are. <laughs> yeah, you're totally trending. Everyone's talking about you. Yeah, remember that time the random individual non-famous person got trending on Twitter because they were cheating on someone? Me either. My boyfriend is going to kill me. That sounds like a toxic relationship. He it could explain why you're stepping out on him. Carrie has ruined my life, and you know what? He hits me because I step out of line, okay? I feel Fine. like... I feel like Carrie was a witness to it. Maybe she shouldn't have spoken on it, but I mean... You're doing it. Laura, you've got to help me straighten them all out. Again, I'm gay. I don't straighten anything. <laughs> oh, this panel, we're in a family circus comic, but only for one panel. I'm sorry, Judy. 
But I don't interfere with other people's lives. What is wrong? Oh my god. You know, in, in, in drawing characters, typically you'll have like animation, or not animation, just general rules on for it being on model. I don't think this lady has been on model for any two consecutive panels. The nose has been long. She looks... She looks like she's going through a divorce. How could people believe a lie about me like that? It's not a lie! Why did they listen? But you fucked- you actually did the thing! I used a condom! That's it's not- not doing it! There was- there was a penis in me, but there was really just a balloon in me, basically! <laughs> there was a- there's a barrier! It doesn't it's count! It's a balloon! It's just- Okay. Dick balloon! Yep. Why didn't they just talk to me? <laughs> I'm right here. Because you are in the middle of fucking. Not on Tuesdays. Oh, that's my me day. <laughs> it's important. Self care is important. Why are you crying, Judy? You are so happy yesterday when we were fucking. So. Wait, maybe it's not. Maybe it's not us. Maybe it's not me. My social life has been ruined by stupid gossip. I, I don't think that's the case. Anyways, come inside. Have an ice cream, Baleen. I really wish you'd stop calling your dick ice cream. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> okay, I'll come in. <laughs> this is this is the diner that you... Okay, this is... Can I just point you out... just come back to the scene of the crime. Very poor floor planning in this place. There's too much empty space. You could fit at least three or four more tables in there. It's, it's a opening weekend out of five guys. <laughs> uh, no, there's no bags of potatoes sitting there. Mm, that's how you know they're good. Mm. Anyway, now everybody thinks I'm cheating on my boyfriend, but nobody will even talk to me. God knows what I've been through. You're right, he does know. He was watching you. Dick balloon or not, that counted. God's inside me all the time. Technically. He's the oldest man that's ever been inside me. I threw up. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, boy. What happened to his face? <laughs> so, I want to let you know, before we start this conversation, I, too, was the victim of a horrible car accident. That so that explains the flatness. It looks like a razor of my heads. visage. It looks like a racer heads kid, but not the fucked up one. That's I don't like, know what that is. Oh boy. Uh, okay. Um, okay. I don't have time to explain a racer head. <laughs> okay. Deal. Everybody has opinions on Jesus. But few take the time to find out what he said for himself. I'm sorry, are you, are you okay? Do you always make that face when you... Get... You know I make this face when I lick things. You know! That is... I gotta be honest, I close my eyes. Think about other stuff. <clears throat> First... You tell me what you've heard about Jesus! What? Do you have a dog? Yeah. Did that just happened? Yeah. Also, what what self... What respecting adult gets triple scoops? <laughs> well, my coach said everyone is gender fluid, even Jesus! That... <laughs> okay. I, oh, I, I, boy. I've, I've got to be honest with you. I don't think... I don't think... I don't think your t your coach has uh is this coach red pill? I don't think I don't think coach has a uh, very very good understanding of of gender or its fluidity. Um I I think what he means is is it's gender in general is pretty fluid and whatever you identify as on on that sort of scale is 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 just a okay. Jesus identified as a man, however, and we will respect that. Yeah. Even if he, uh, you know, is, 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 is cisgendered, mm. which is a word that probably bakes your noodle. Male and female are social constructs. This is true. I don't know what this has to do with you fucking an old guy. 
I feel the need to explain this just in case there's anyone out there who oh, doesn't understand yeah, what Yeah, okay. Means. Let's okay. let's have a little aside. This is this is Hugo and Jake's uh, education corner. Okay. So Is that your tummy? Yeah, I know. Can we get right? you a taco? I'm good. I'll get okay. one after. Uh, okay. So there is gender yep. and there is sex. Yep. Gender is There's also gender expression. Sure. Well, baby steps. Gender is uh, basically the sociological concept, and sex is the biological concept of whether or not you have uh, a penis or a mm -hmm. vagina. Gender would be the masculine outwardly presenting things that you do for the most part, how you identify. Very clearly, uh, apex alpha male predator. <laughs> Shut uh, up. Beard, you know. Uh, Very masculine uh, forward wear, stuff. Wear pants. Things you think of when you think typical male. And female uh, gender social stuff would be like wearing dresses, makeup, stuff that we... Cues that we give off to people that, hey, right. which this is, be, is how I identify. Which would be... Address me as such. Typically, we, uh, we tend to speak in sex in male and female and gender in masculine feminine and then there's in between so sex is bimodal because there's not just a binary it happens to have intersex people in the center of it you also have situations with gender where of course you can have non-binary people you can have uh I like to say boys, girls, and those betwixt. I think ContraPoint says something very similar to that. Sure. Um, uh, so basically, wherever you are on the slider, uh, and then and then then there's gender expression, which you know, uh, think like this. So there are people who identify as women who are masculine forward. Think of like a um, uh, a, a traditionally butch lesbian, uh, someone who is a woman. Uh, but also is, is is a little masculine. Or there's, uh, you know, the opposite of that as well. Someone like an Ezra Miller, who uh, technically is uh, gender fluid, um, uses he, him, they, them pronouns, um, but is typically masculine for, but can uh, uh, be, be feminine as well. And then there's, of course, um, right in the middle, some people call it androgyny. You don't necessarily have to be uh, gender fluid or gender non-conforming or whatever, or um, non-binary um, to be androgynous, uh, a la Ezra Miller, of course, um, but you can also be androgynous. So, I mean, it just, so there's all sorts of things. So basically the point is whoever you are is, is valid and that's okay and it doesn't really matter. Um, is there anything else? No, basically I would just say if it anyone, doesn't have anything to do with sexuality. If anyone finds any of that confusing, it's because uh, gender as a social construct is fairly arbitrary because people are pretty arbitrary, as it uh, turns out. So yeah. the reason that dresses and stuff are feminine, no. not true in all cultures or in all times. So yeah, it does seem pretty arbitrary. It's because a, it is. It's a yeah. It's um. It's interesting. The topic yeah. is very interesting um, because. A lot of people confuse the two, and I didn't know we were going to talk about this yeah. with this chick track. Because I had no idea. It this literally was about has this. nothing to do with old man fucking until page twelve for some reason, <laughs> um, and I don't think Jesus speaks upon gender whatsoever as a concept. <laughs> no, they're probably just going to use some quotes by him again. I haven't Gender's read this. Gender's been they're a probably concept gonna... since the thirteen hundreds. It's probably been before that. But oh, I'm sure. Recorded like the discussion of that word uh, and those concepts. So, you know. Um, I don't know how to describe it any better. It's just kind of a, an experience. Talk to people uh, that are atypical if you have a problem with it. Um, so someone who uh, might say they're non-binary. So just have a short conversation. Talk to a trans person. ContraPoints has plenty of good videos on this if you want to talk about it with somebody. Uh, it's, 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 it's a complicated subject that has a pretty simple answer. And the answer is accept people for who they are. But Jesus said... But from the beginning of the creation, God made them male and female. See, I told you they were going to cherry pick. man and woman. Yeah. But, uh, he doesn't speak on gender, because... Adam and Eve were literally naked. Right. And angels are androgynous, then there was the Nephilim, who were descendants of that, uh, that were part of the first men, so I don't know. Yeah, but judge not, or you'll be judged or something. Everybody knows that. Are they making fun of a Bible verse that disagrees with them now? They've come full circle. It's actually kind of hilarious. Okay. Jesus didn't say never to judge. In fact, Jesus also said... Judge not according to the appearance, but judge righteous judgment. Wait, is he JFK? <laughs> yeah, I guess. I mean, they both, they both uh, yeah. got politically assassinated. 
Oh, so judge not according to the appearance, so if someone has a dick, you shouldn't just assume that they're a man, right? Well, it's not like you you check under the hood. Right. Yeah. That'd be <laughs> weird. Imagine, imagine standing guard at the bathroom. Uh, excuse me, do you have a ding dong? Because this has, this has a lady with a dress on the front of it. It doesn't say vagina on the door. It literally just says, it just has a dress. Yeah. Maybe if it was vagina specific bathrooms. Vagina and penis specific bathrooms. I'm in favor of gender neutral bathrooms Me too. where the stalls are just more enclosed yeah. like rooms. You know what I mean? Unless And I understand certain places have problems where they're concerned about people shooting up in the bathroom or whatever. Eh, fuck you. Who cares? I, uh, I mean you should care about ODs and stuff, but we have larger is issues. Is that a thing? To deal with. Yeah. Is that the, like the, an argument? Mm -hmm. Do a lot of people go to like Walmart to Well do heroin or usually it i mean this does happen in real life where people go into bathrooms and shoot up or whatever well, yeah but, but like it doesn't happen often um uh, and when it does get brought up it's usually in the context of someone being like hey we should have gender neutral bathrooms and maybe just have the stalls being closed and then someone basically in order to yeah. try and say we shouldn't have that then says well what about people doing drugs da 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 well it's usually it's usually well, I want some man in there with my daughter you can also be in there, though, if it's gender neutral. Right, you can go on in there with them and protect them from men. Also, if anybody is going to sexually assault anybody in a bathroom... The odds are... The, going they're to... not going to care that there's a thing on the door that says they can't be in there. They're already committing a fucking felony, you idiot. <laughs> not a social faux pas. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I was going to go in there and rape a bunch of people, but... The door has a dress also, on it. Also, that, that, that obviously enforces... First of all, it enforces a, a, some sort of stereotype that says that trans women are inherently just yep. uh, attracted to women in general because they have a, a ding-dong, uh, which is not the case. Um, it also implies that their sexuality is tied to... Because, of course, it's always, it's always trans women. It's very rarely trans men. Trans men only get it when, like, there's sports involved or some shit. Um... Like, there's not a bunch of rapey trans people out there. Like, what's the statistic, like, per capita, how many trans people are actually raping folks? I feel like it's the other way around. Pretty sure I've seen a thing that said there have been more Republican, like, Congress people arrested for fucking people in bathrooms than trans people. Which I believe. I believe that. <laughs> I'm not even gonna check that. You check it yourself, because I want you to educate. My history teacher said Jesus came to bring peace and love. <laughs> Judy, you fool! What Jesus really said was... Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. But wait, I thought he was a god of love! Mm. What's the sword for? Mutilating baby dicks? Mm, probably killing the gays. Maybe both. Could be a short sword. But why? What makes Jesus so important? <laughs> well, uh, y you finished that ice cream cone. Huh. You had two scoops last time I saw it. And now it's gone. You and know your I, face is drooping. You know I have no gag reflex. I shoved it down there. <laughs> <laughs> and you're immune to brain freeze. Yeah. Don't you know who he really is? Uh, some kind of social reformer. Are okay. you actually this clueless? At the very least, this one I was given this one a little bit of credit because I'm like, this one isn't pretending that people don't know who Jesus is in America, but now all of a sudden he's a social reformer. Nobody in America, nobody does not understand that Jesus is a religious figure. Stop it. I don't understand why we talked about gender. I don't know either. I don't know what's going on with this guy's face. I want to say they were going with like an Asian American fella, but I'm really scared to make that judgment call yeah. on a chick tract. Yeah. Ah. Tell sometimes. Better to hear it from him. What did Jesus say about himself? And no man hath ascended up to heaven, but he that came down from heaven, even the Son of Man which is in heaven. 
So Jesus is saying he was in heaven and on earth at the same time? He'd have to be God to do that! You catch on quick! Here's another scoop. Jesus Christ. How about this? They're certainly not roofling in this scoop. Thou art not yet fifty years old, and hast thou seen Abraham? Verily, verily I say unto you, before Abraham was, I am. That's not how people speak! <laughs> Abraham was born 2,000 years before Jesus' birth. Yep. I am is the name God calls himself, because he is the least creative God we can think of. So Jesus called himself God? Okay, so the Holy Spirit calls itself God. And Jesus calls himself God, but God calls himself I am. Is he Will I Am? The, the producer of, of, of hit early 2000s band Black Eyed Peas? Yeah. They said a bad thing in that one song. Yes, they did. And it just... Now it's stuck in my head, and that was like now a, it's stuck in your head, and... That was like the last popular, po possible year they could have said that, I, I think, think, too. I think so. <laughs> For the Son of Man is come to save the world, or to save that which is lost. All have sinned against God and deserve hell, but here's what Jesus did to save us! The Son of Man must suffer many things and be rejected of the elders and chief priests and scribes and be slain and be raised the third day. Yeah, if God came to Earth, I'd totally expect everyone to be like, hey, you're not God, and then he dies at 30-something. That's reasonable and not a post-hoc explanation for why everything went bad for him. This is like we Babs first, first atheism, yeah. but like... How, how uninspired, yeah. how, how actually just, what a shitty god. Why? Why does anyone have to do anything in this scenario? Why not just, just, like, it doesn't even have to just forgive people. He could literally have Hunger Games to the whole world. Like, make it interesting, right? Yeah. Not just one guy in some corner of the world getting nailed to a cross like everybody fucking else. Why couldn't it have been cool? This could have been Katniss. <laughs> they killed Jesus, but God showed us mercy. His precious blood shed on the cross paid for our sins. He died and was buried. It is finished. Yeah. John 3.16 I go to prepare a place for you, and I will come again. <laughs> That's what she said, Jesus. God damn it, Paul. What? He's talking to him from the future. I said Paul for some reason. Whoops. I thought you were going to say Judas. Yeah. Because that was the obvious joke, but you went Paul? Yeah. Because Jesus exists out of time and space. Yeah, sure. I like that. That's a better uh, reason than I forgot Judas's name for a second. It's fine. I receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. So Jesus died and then built them all houses? Like Habitat for Humanity? Metaphorical houses. A different JC works for Habitat for Humanity. It's a Jimmy Carter joke. Do you think you can, if you have a peanut allergy, you can make physical contact with him? Or is he too... Peanutty? He's absorbed too much oil over the years yeah. that he's just... <laughs> I wish I knew someone who just smelled like peanut butter. George Washington Carver. That's also not probably... <laughs> Him and Jimmy Carter, those are the peanut people. Okay. You can't touch them. And Mr. Peanut. Not real, but yeah. Don't fucking lie to me. Do you He's want... He's got a monocle! <laughs> That's... Who would think to give an imaginary peanut a monocle? Why would they give him vision problems? He's real. He's real. <laughs> Is that like astigmatism? Does he only have vision problems in one eye? Or I don't know. Do you it, close the other eye for a monocle? Someone explain monocles to it's me. It's one of the many medical issues that come with being an anthropomorphic peanut. <laughs> Your optic nerve doesn't quite <laughs> fucking... And all things it's because he's shaped like that. His medulla's weird. All things considered, he's doing better than you'd think. 
Honestly, that's that's that given the deformities in the, this peanutty shell. The previous attempts by Nestle to develop a genetically modified peanut man to be their mascot for the peanuts. Oh my god. They were all like they were oh. uh, like Ripley in Alien Resurrection. Oh. Kill oh. me. I want to see that. That actually is pretty like make me you know that that artist that did hyper realistic like yeah. SpongeBob. Give me hyper realistic Mr. Peanut. <laughs> Do you want your sins forgiven? Will you receive Jesus as your savior? Oh, yes! I will receive him! What was that part? That's my mouth opening to receive him. Judy, are you cheating on me? Only with Jesus. And the guy at the other place. And a few glory holes around town. Anyway! Is, is a glory hole cheating? Chat. Is a glory hole yes, cheating? Yes. What? Is it cheating? Yes. It's it's, it's just a dick. <laughs> just a dick in a hole. <laughs> I assume you get like change thrown through the hole or something. It's mo It's basically just like freelance work. Is it cheating? God damn this gig economy! It's fucking <laughs> everyone. It's just it's like dick Uber. Yeah. <laughs> glory holes or dick uber but you have to deliver yourself what if you take an uber to the bar where you have the glory hole <gasps> holy shit <gasps> i'm gonna start a new app mm, no nope, that's, that's just grind that's grind <laughs> no i was thinking that's just grinder okay it's, well, i was so gonna say it'll app? be called like holer and it'll be like a digital glory hole where you made up meet up with people and suck their dick but that's grinder that's grinder grind that's that's grind grind does grinder have a straight i mean version? tinder i guess Okay. I'm so happy, Mr. Song. Oh, okay, yeah. We I think I think we've nailed down his ethnicity. Okay. Uh what do I do about the rumor? Bring your friend back this time tomorrow. Leave everything to me. Just kidding. I'm not Asian. I just sing a lot. The next day. <laughs> I have a surprise for you. Home early from com What? Oh, Judy's father, Sergeant Benitez. Gulp. Oh, that's you. Boo? That's the older man! Daddy! She was fucking her dad? That's the twist. <laughs> she yep. was fucking her dad the whole time. I'm sorry, Judy! I forgive you, Laura, and guess what? There's someone else who we've had it all wrong about. Oh, oh really? It was it Mr. Song? Is he not actually Asian? No, he just It was just a car accident, wasn't it? I, I knew he was particularly flat. Yeah. It's weird, right? It is weird. What, so you're fucking your dad? Yeah. You know what? I'm very progressive. As long as there wasn't any, like, coaching oh. or grooming, I'm fine with it. Oh, just call him Tom Landry. Anyway. <laughs> what? He's a coach. Yeah. He's a football coach. I know who Tom Landry is. I don't know why that's... What? You said as long as there was no coaching involved. Oh, wow. You know one coach named Tom Landry? Yeah. It's because of King of the Hill. I was going to say, he was the Cowboys coach, like, in the 80s and 90s. Yes. Before Jimmy... G doesn't matter. All right. Uh, so, she was fucking her dad. That's canon. <laughs> <laughs> that's so, canon. That's... That's that. That's... Yeah. That. If you're screeching about gender in the comments, uh, yeah. I will be ignoring you. So that's fine. But uh, if you want to debate me about it, uh, I would love to educate you, and I'll spend more time with it on twitch.tv slash actualjake, uh, where I do that pretty often. So if you're uh, being a shitlord, click the follow button totally free, and when I go live, you can be like, I'm an idiot! And then I'll be like, ah, you're stupid. Get in my Discord and let's talk. If you want to follow us on Twitter, you can always follow Jake at PopperbergJake. Follow Hugo at Hugo Reloaded, and you can get your fresh, spicy memes from that source. And hydration tips. Yeah. I've been trying to drink more water. Hydrate via Batman. Yeah. Do you think Batman stays hydrated? I feel like I feel like much like Beluga suit lady Judy in this one, he also marinates in his salty yeast. Uh I gotta imagine Batman in his utility belt has there's probably like, like a cooling system. There's gotta be something. And also water, because he's flying around, not flying, gliding around Gotham all fucking night. I think he has like a Nutrigrain bar or something, like a Kashi. 
I, I, he's gotta, right? He's gotta have little, something. Like, n nutritional, like, boba balls. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, um, so if you want some Batman canon, make sure to subscribe. If you want to send us stuff to the P.O. Box, here is the address. Yeah, send us things. Uh, last time we got... There's no trash on the floor. Oh, uh, we got we got this stuff. Look, I got a little corn person. That's a thing. Uh, we got poppers once. Still haven't butt fucked with these, but we'll figure it out. So, um, I think that's it. Um, yeah, I don't know why she was fucking her dad, but you know, yeah. I'm glad that chick tracks are getting a little more progressive so. in their thoughts. Actually, I'm just kidding. Please, if you have Patreon. A, if you're fucking your dad, it's probably not healthy. Don't do that. Patreon in the description if you want to help support this mess. There was a there was a story of a of a father and son that were that didn't know each other got into a gay relationship and then found out they were father and son later in life. While gross, I think it's ethical. Sure, that's still very unfortunate for them. Imagine, it would have been better off had they never found that out, probably. Imagine looking at yourself in the mirror and going, Wait a second, is daddy my dad? Okay, this is the that end of the That whole thing this was is, just to say that. This is there the end go. of the episode. I'm very proud Leave. of that. Leave, please. Okay, you can leave. You I like. stayed too long on a video once and now I'm trapped in the videos. <laughs> I can't leave.